Hi, welcome to lesson 8.8. Um, you are going to learn aerials of rectangles with fractional side lengths by Alex D. and Brady. What you will learn in this video is how to find an area with fractional side lengths. Which is what the thing circled in red is. It's fraction. So it's the same thing as what you would normally do, but... Well, yeah, it's the same thing. But more confusing. Yeah. And it would be, so you would do two times, so two to. times three and a half equals so, um, seven. So that's what you will be doing. How would you solve that is um two times three is six, right? So, um, yep. Two times three Six. Uh, then you would just do two times one half equals one. What's one plus six? Seven. And you label it, and you have the answer. Math message. So the math message is, this is the math message. You, here's some tips. You're going to solve the area. Kind of like how we told you on the last slide. With the formula is A area, L length times width. Okay? Answer it and come back and we're going to tell you the answers. Um, the answers is, um... You could do, you could have done some of these answers. And those are the best answers. Those are some of the answers. If you needed help solving this problem, you could have done four times seven. It's four times seven. Figure that out and then resume. 28. Okay. So, um, then you would do the eighth because you bring the eighth room up here, down to here. And what's 28? Divided by 8. It is 3 and 4 eighths or 1 or 3 and 1 half. And what does this answer lie between? What whole numbers? Yeah, what whole numbers does this answer lie between? Tell us, well, write it down in your notebook and tell us when you... See us in back in class. Solve pro this problem on in your notebook and come back. We'll help you figure it out when you come back. Here is the answer page. This is a pretty tricky problem. There are two rectangles they have to find the area of combined. And you will see how to do it. Down there. Well, you will do 9 times 3 fourths, which would equal 6 and 3 fourths right here. And then you would do 9 times 1, which equals 9. Then, you would, add then you would add them together, which would give you 15 and 3 fourths. Okay. We'll come back with problem 2. Pause the video, check your answers, and here is problem two. We're we gonna will help you solve this. Yeah, we're gonna talk you through it. And don't pause the video unless you wanna take the challenge of solving it on your own and then checking to see if it's right. Okay, so this is how you would solve it. So what I would do personally, I would do um I would do eleven times two fifths and then eleven times four fifths and then eleven times two. That's how I would solve it. And this is how Alex D would solve it. Okay, um let me explain this. Um I basically did what he did. Oh my god, um Oh, sorry, I erased some of that. Um, that equals 22 fifths. That equals um, 44 fifths. That equals 22. So, 
22. Here's what it is. So, first, you add 44 and 22. That equals 66. As you see there, 66 divided by 5 is 13, with 1 remaining. If you don't believe me, you can try on a calculator. That's what it is. So, you would change 66 into 13 and 1 fifth. So, 66 fifths equals 13 1 fifth. You would do that because, um, as you see over here, you're, um, there's fifths. So, fifth, fifth. And that's the, um, thing you would number, you would divide 66 by, because that's how many fifths you have, and you want to transform that to whole numbers. So, um, then I did 22 plus 13. Guess what that is? 35. Yes, it's 35. 35. Then I added one fifth. We got, as you see here, there's a fifth right here. And got 35 and one fifth. fifth. Okay, so if you got that, good job. If you didn't get that, good job. Do pages 295 through 296. So if you have done that, now here's the answers to the pages. Here's the answer to page 295. That's 296. 296, I mean, sorry. And 295 is right here. And now we'll see you in class tomorrow, and we're going to check if you took notes just to make sure. Bye. Bye. See you in class tomorrow.